minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chair. It's always uh, appreciated when you invite me to these hearings. And Assistant Secretary Fee and Assistant Administrator Moyangwa, it is so great to see you both again after the presidential delegation to Nigeria that I had the privilege of participating in earlier this month with you. Um, as important as it is to bolster our programming and funding commitments on the continent, uh, this will yield little advancement if we don't have the people to implement them. So Assistant Secretary Fee, what is the administration doing to address personnel gaps uh, at U.S. diplomatic posts in the region and also to increase the diversity of our foreign service officers to reflect the population they are engaging in? And then what can we do to help make that happen? Thanks very much for that question, which highlights uh, the personal commitment of Secretary Blinken and all of his key staff, such as persons like myself, uh, to do both um, more in getting uh, staff for the State Department generally um, and to ensure that we attract and retain diverse talent. Uh, so on the first, uh, as you are aware, uh, we um, uh, had a few years where there, were, there was a freeze on hiring and we failed to hire uh, to replace those who departed. Uh, the administration and all of its budget requests has put forward uh, large requests uh, for additional staff. Uh, we would welcome support uh, for those staffing requests uh, so we can do better, but we have a gap uh, between those we lost uh, and those that are now coming online. Uh, so that's a challenge given that our renewed emphasis and, emph and elevation of the Africa file. Um, with regard uh, to the challenge of diversity, uh, I think we're facing a challenge that many in the private sector also face, uh, but there are concerted efforts uh, from programs uh, to um, uh, uh, to uh, personal leadership, mentorship, uh, to try and again address both the issue of, of attracting the right talent and retaining the right talent. Thank you for that. I mean, I, I hate to sound controversial, but it is always odd when I go uh, to the continent of Africa and the only folks that are representing the United States of America are white people. It just makes me a little prickly. So um, please, I hope you share those uh, remarks with the secretary. I also had the privilege of traveling to Stockholm this weekend as part of a congressional delegation to the Transatlantic Legislators Dialogue to discuss mutual priorities with counterparts in the EU. Uh, and I have to say that I was dismayed by their level of dismissiveness when it came to investing in the continent of Africa. I can't tell you how many people rolled their eyes at me. I had to meditate. Um, one shared interest that I believe needs to be elevated is increasing our partners' attention and investments in Africa because the United States can and should not do this work alone. So can you describe in what ways is state pressing our G7 partners to de bolster their development uh, financing and business investments in Africa, and if the ad assistant administrator would like to add to that, I would welcome. Thank you for highlighting the important role of our partners. Um, so when we're united, we can have maximum impact. As you know, the president has led the way in the G7 uh, to mobilize G7 uh, efforts to improve and increase investment in Africa, and also to leverage um, uh, capital funds globally um, so that we marry U.S. government resources, other government resources, particularly from the West, uh, and uh, some venture capital funds uh, that are available. Um, we also um, uh, meet routinely at every level of the U.S. government uh, with the Europeans and with G7 partners. Africa is always a topic of conversation, uh, including in the most recent G7 meetings um, in Japan. Um, and uh, we fully agree with you that uh, we need the um, Europeans to do more with us in Africa. Thank you very much for that uh, question, and it's good to see you again. Uh, so USAID approaches this from an, a, number of, um, a number of vantage points. Let me start with a recent uh, pledging conference on Sudan that just took place, where uh, the, US, uh, the United States has been the leading um, contributor 
to humanitarian efforts in, uh, in Sudan. We got other partners to contribute uh, to those efforts. We're still putting in a, a sizable amount of money compared to the others, but others stepped up to the plate. So I think that's really important. Uh, a second area in which we do this is what the administrator calls progress beyond programs, where we try to crowd in partners uh, to add more resources to the areas and the work that we are already um, working on. And then uh, Prosper Africa on the economic end also offers uh, services that really seek to de demystify Africa, both to our US partners and others uh, who are working in the economic space. Thank you, Mr. Chair, I yield back.